Hi guys, this is Anno and we are back playing House of Iron 4 as France. Uh, we are finally working on defensive stratagems and what that means is that in two months time we will finally start actually gaining political power for the first time in this game and it will only take us uh, around two years to get to get into the positive so yay with us. Now, uh, after the first pretty uh, successful incursion into Soviet territory after realizing that, well, we are not dying, so we might as well start killing. Uh, we are trying a second one. Uh, this one is basically, we try to drive our tanks here. I hope you appreciate the genius of, of, of my strategy thinking in there. And that's exactly what we are going to do. Not sure if that will work, but well, uh, at least this uh, whole thing seems uh, like a slum dunk. Uh, well, they have what uh, 36 divisions dropped there. Not sure if any have been overrun. Mm, probably not. That's I think, and this is just the uh, those are just their losses uh, for the time being. Uh, okay, so. We should probably stop attacking here. That's silly. Uh, Alright, so... Seems... Yeah, it seems like our... Uh, defensive lines get, are getting messed up. Let's keep them... tidy. Mm. Same here though. Yeah, honestly. I would... Extend, change them this way. Yeah. Okay, that's. Uh, is it really like that? Well, at least th those units are for a for time being uh, under operating on manual orders, so. Oh, never mind, if you have that, but uh, you are suffering, well, very little, but still an attrition here. Uh, we are having some supply problems. And I think, well, we'll, we'll deal with that later. Follow up, please. So should you. And that was supposed to get like this. So you should keep going. Thank you. Well, attacking into well, that's a lot, and there's more incoming. So, hmm. all right, let's try a different approach. Let's drive around them. Oh, that's better. If we had some troops here, I would make the spawning attacks, but well, we don't. Uh, well, we actually punch through here. Uh, not sure what all those units went, but yeah. Well, uh, actually, it's, it's a well known truth that it, it's better to make. Uh, Make breakthroughs uh, that are wider, so uh, that's actually a very good idea. And our uh, our infantry divisions should uh, fill the, the gap shortly. And uh, still, it seems like uh, from the Kiev part, it's pretty safe as it is. And uh, well, they are also suffering from lack of supplies. Uh, as long as this is more or less green, I'm alright. So that uh, well, this one isn't, so let's actually let them attack us rather than the other way around. Uh, well, that being said, encircling all this, encircling Minsk seems like a terrific idea. So maybe let's do that. Uh, let's attacking that. 
Okay, let's stop and yeah, as soon as you yeah, please do attack. Oh, you will be defending and supporting the attack because we don't want to, uh, for that to be overrun. And I should have given a cute order of the... Oh, well, apparently no one's left in minutes, we just pushed them out. Uh, and yeah, we got caught here. Oh well, this is not going to go very well. Uh, actually, it might go pretty damn badly. Uh, 4 hours? 12 hours, alright, so that means this. Jesus, I really uh, hate the... <laughs> well, maybe not hate, but... I'm not the biggest fan of, of the AI in, in their handling of the of the fronts. Let's, let's just say that. I wish there was at least a toggle that uh, would uh, uh, prevent AI from uh, extending front lines to the points they see uh, reasonable. Like that, that basically make the edges of the front line ironclad. They whatever it, if AI says this is the stupidest front line ever, they would leave it be. Now, so we uh, we managed to, to wipe out all this nonsense. Uh, let's check the body count. Well, of course, most of them uh, haven't been harmed and are in a luxurious hotels as uh, prisoners of war. Um, still. Mm. Let's widen it. Should we move them out of here? Well, it's not a terrible uh, loss here. Now, we should probably start thinking about some bigger picture. Uh, mm -hmm -hmm. Well, first of all, we need to think about the fact that uh, well, I, I like year and uh, eight months is what we well. Two, two years is what we need till we get uh, uh, more manpower. Actually, I'm running, uh, lying again because once we remove victors of the Great War within uh, four months, that will mean, uh, add, give us a small boost. Uh, well, a small boost. But well, now I think we, we are good. Okay, uh, this thing isn't defended. Uh, I need to keep pushing. This one is not doing so hot. Uh, how is this? We, uh, there's a lot of things that are flowing in, in our general direction. Alright, some calls arrive here. Not bad at all, as far as the war with the Soviet Union goes. It's not the German uh, right towards Moscow, uh, capture three packets of uh, 100 divisions and call it a night. Uh, but well, we are getting there. But then again, I feel, I feel bad because I kind of promised uh, that you will see my ass getting kicked. So uh, yeah, I guess you will have to wait for uh, the time when I uh, being attacked by the German declare war on the Chinese here in my Soviet section, uh, Soviet uh, campaign. Spoiler alert. Alright, so, uh, seems like, well, actually, there isn't that many of them, it's just that we aren't using a lot on our own. One more, one more province, and we have all of that. Well, except that we, all right, uh, you lads, uh, six of you actually, are going to come here, right here. Thank you. Uh, six of you, perfect. I need three of you here, three of you here. 
uh, search tree redeployment. Yes, so we basically need to capture Odessa so they can't evacuate. No way I think about it. <laughs> that was to be a failure. Pretty massive proportions. Alright, so uh, we need a defensive unit here and you definitely need to stop attacking that. I really wish we had a better... Uh, well, how the hell they have such a good encryption to begin with? Like, what gives? I'm pretty sure our uh, decryption at least is up to... Fuck it. Well, actually it's... Well, it's up to date by but barely. Still, I mean, it's it's a fucking Soviet Union. They have uh, worst uh, research in terms of how many research slot they have, slots they have. They really rushed the, the, the encryption for 1940. I, I'm not buying it. How the hell we aren't getting enough intel? It's actually, you know, it's, it makes things really fucking difficult. I, I mean, here we have intel. Uh, anywhere else we don't. Um, thankfully we... Well, apparently aren't in such a bad... Okay, now... Uh, Let's get five divisions out of the into the well, those matches ones are pretty safe I think not the biggest price as far as uh, things to 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 to, to attack you know. uh, and this this infantry division should be all right as okay I need. A one of those divisions to, to, to attack here as a spoiling move. Oh, oh right. We got pushed out of there or they moved out of there? What the f... I think we got pushed out of there. What do, we, do they have there? Uh, quite a lot, but like, I've seen worse. Okay, you know what? Let's, let's just remove this bullshit. A few points of... Uh, of planning bonus isn't worth the hassle. Mm. Let's continue since our allies are already here. Our allies are actually proving fairly useful, which is a, a nice change. All right, how is this? Uh, and I definitely need one to to to, to make an SOS. Uh, I'm sorry, a tactical attack. In here, how's this? Okay, so that would take a bloody while to break them. Uh, maybe. Uh, we're attacking the. Mm, mm, we should arrive there and it will be pinned. Uh, that's about it, I guess. I'm worried that they will run out of organization before we can push through here. That's actually very likely. Uh, now, Odessa. Uh, let's wait for them to get the, the, the organization back. But we need to get it going. They, they will start fleeing through Odessa as soon as we close this, I'm afraid. Quite a lot of them are... Oh, okay, so... That's that's actually very nice. Uh, two of you, three of you can stay here. Uh, actually, two of you stay here. One of you is to come here because we need to reinforce that. Um, let's uh, use a few of our divisions from here and simply strategically deploy them there. Mm. Now, we got uh, our defense and breakthrough bonus for infantry and well, all kinds of infantry really uh, what now well now we'll wait a month and uh, use uh, that save that month for improved computing machine well we are actually losing that aren't we uh, Let's throw another tank there, I guess. It's yeah, they really don't like us having this. Uh, okay. Uh, let's, let's just attack.
Mm, there we go. And uh, shortly we should probably start uh, cleaning this one up. Mm, where is this going? Ah, there will be a lot of divisions in this packet. I, I, I said this one here will be 40 or something, but that's probably not... That was about 36, but this one will be 50. Easy. Alright, now this is the most important fight here, assuming we can survive those. How is this one? Uh, 15 divisions here, 15 divisions there. Not bad at all. Mm. Now what I would do... Uh, okay, so we are in December. You may have been told that attacking Russia in winter is the worst thing ever, but that's definitely not the case. Worst thing ever is attacking Russia in after autumn and in spring, because there's all the fucking mud everywhere. Uh, so, we basically, if we want to, to, to make gains, uh, we basically need to do it before, uh, before winter uh, is over. And... Uh, and I think that next goal of ours will be to go through Kiev, around here, and uh, push uh, all the way up here or so, and try to capture all the middle uh, here by pushing uh, from north through those plains uh, towards Bryansk. Yeah, so Bryansk offensive is, is our no ne next goal here. Um, that probably means that we need to... Uh, okay, so of course our... F f All right. Uh, hmm. What I would do is uh, cut this... Uh, cut a smaller front in the middle and use it offensively. And I would probably do that, so... Uh, let's make a smaller front and that, will, that will be an offensive one uh, I still want them under this guy he's uh, decent as far as our generals go uh, and we already have everything we have under him even though they are kind of work, working a uh, security job right here but well I don't want to reorganize the whole thing since well Seems like we can finally relax a little bit. So you guys can just guard this. Uh, give you an order. There you go. Uh, well, this is honestly this. Uh, so add it. Few of you there, and the rest of you here. And frankly, let's make it, make it smaller. Here we go. And Yeah, I wanted to go uh, a bit more north. Not too much, but yeah, something like that. And let's make them do it upright. And as soon as we finish this, uh, I will use my tanks to, to punch through here, I think. Mm, so we'll just establish a front line and try to punch, as I mentioned, through Kiev, towards Bryansk and uh, and circle of this, and that will uh, allow us for uh, another push down south towards it's Rostov, and that should that should be the war. Ah, uh, but for now we need to get Odessa. All right, we we're waiting for this. Um, how is our repairing going? Huh? It's getting there. 
I get pushed in a little bit, but well, that's not a problem. Actually, I I don't mind having uh, well. Maybe I'm. Mm, yes, well, there are supply problems, but the day the day will get removed as soon as this. You know, so I, uh, I don't want to push back here too much because that will make uh, the, this break more difficult. Mm. We should probably just make it smaller and actually go ahead and uh, attack in this. Uh, well, actually, you guys could probably reinforce this one. How is this going? Uh, not as well as I would hope. This uh, Romanian Panzer is lend a hand. Yeah, this attrition is getting nasty uh, by the day. Mm. But at the same time, uh, we probably could uh, uh, cut a, a new front. Uh, cut a new front here. Start working towards uh, towards Kiev uh, from up north. There we go. Mm, what's here? Uh, not as uh, it's not too powerful for our. Uh, Needs, I think. Uh, oh, this is going to be problematic. Alright, let's check. Mm, very good on equipment. Actually, we could start building Panzer uh, divisions if. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's, let's get a few. Four. EBB will start disbanding other units and such. So I think we, we just need to keep up the pace and, uh, well, getting a few more Panzer divisions will be definitely uh, very helpful. And I'm definitely building too many self propelled artillery. Uh, how is our fighter is? Alright, so I'll just adjust, uh, attach those to fighters, I think. Where is our circle part? Uh, uh, let's just cut by three. I don't think we'll be building a lot in terms of uh, motorized divisions that also use those, so... Yeah. Honestly, we have way more uh, equipment that we that we need at the moment. We can probably send some land lease. Mm. Let's get uh, once. Uh, let's send fifteen hundred. Mm, a thousand and. Mm, Right here. About tanks. Uh, should we send some tanks? Eh, probably not. Just not just yet. Uh, yeah, well, that's that's a good start, I think. Uh, actually, we are also ahead. Fly as far as this goes. So this goes to Poland. And uh, we should also send some Romania. Mm. 
Well, it's silly that we need to convoy this. Okay, let's check if this convoy has... Uh, Mm. Okay, we'll check that later. Uh, now, uh, prepare. Let's switch to the normal, but to the balanced here. Uh, this attack. Oh, <laughs> this is actually a Japanese division. So you guys managed to push through very well. Uh, Alright, and we have Odessa. Very good, so... Uh, mm, you guys can just defend. Uh, uh, you know what, let's push it here to here. Okay, that's the mana for my liking. Hmm, just get there. I just want them to, to, to kind of cut them in uh, in smaller pieces, uh, make it easier to, 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 to finish them off. Uh, well, this one actually seems very easy. Just four divisions or so, so let's do that. Hmm. Uh, okay, so... It seems like we can move our panzers from there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not not slow, not seeing this. So let's so let's continue. I think we can will be able to hold this this line. And since Odessa is about to fall, well, fallen, uh, we uh, this is pretty much done. Mm, how's this going? Uh, uh, this nonsense. Look at those fucking front lines. It's even worse when you are trying to use it the uh, field marshal for it. Uh, so this is. You're limited to that. And you are limited to that. Just... Okay, I really have ten divisions here. Not our do, but yeah. We do really have. Uh, there you go. And you should actually spoil this attack. And that's pretty hefty. Stuck at uh, 12, but uh, I want to capture this and this. Uh, Vitebsk, to lesser extent. Uh, you go there. You can go there and attack this uh, very well. It's going pretty well. I actually kind of expected uh, having some troubles here and there, but not the case. Oh, this is. Oh. This isn't the, the best sort of thing we came up with here. Uh, Alright, so. Another nonsense. Uh, you guys limit it to here, you limit it to this. And we have some uh, Polish divisions to, to help us. How is that land is coming along? Uh, uh, the very is 100, so it counts our order, very good. Uh, well, still the very efficiency 100. Well, I guess it uh, simply counts that uh, through the Allied borders. Cool. I haven't used the land lease in a while, actually. So, 
I almost forgot about the option. Uh, you uh, go there. Uh, well, okay, some Polish divisions are arriving, so we can we should be able to hold this. Uh, you know what? That's uh, I actually never checked. So uh, war is uh, five percent in favor of the defenders. So now it uh, counts that we have uh, like. Okay, we have small amount of divisions, but basically, yeah, Poland has more than us, and uh, both Czechoslovakia and Romania have decent sizes. Which actually, Czechoslovakia doesn't really matter because all the fucking divisions are doing is sitting in, in Czechoslovakia. Uh, pretty much the same in terms uh, for, for Yugoslavia, so. Jeez, so it's just uh, us, Poland, and Romania who, who have to do, the, do all the work. It's like, uh, you know, today's Britain or something. Don't know. I kinda wanted to grab this Vitex there. Uh, you guys can uh, continue there. Uh, this whole thing got messed up again, because why not? Uh, you guys, since you're not doing anything, advance. Okay, I. I don't really want to advance uh, down south, not really. I want to keep it nice and wide so they don't uh, aren't scared of being encircled and shit. Hmm. I want this whole thing. Oh, well, now when I think about it, there's probably not a lot there, but if we make this uh, this run to Bryansk, then we should be in position to make a a pretty nice push down south, and that, as I mentioned, uh, should pretty much seal the deal. Uh, okay, so this attack is not working at all. Uh, here we go. Should probably allow them to stew a little. Mm. Yeah, so I think this is more or less safe. Uh, how are they on? Yeah, low supply, so they reached max supply, so they should, uh, well, minimal supply, ma max supply penalty, and that means they will be actively losing organization even while not fighting. It will take a bloody while, but eventually they will lose it. Uh, okay, so this is, this is a problem. But perhaps we can ju just wing it if we if we manage to get here and past it before they uh, enforce it, then we are in a in a good shape. Uh, let this way. More panzer divisions here. Uh, I should have given a bloody a bloody order to attack the right. Okay, one division. Oh, okay, we are uh, being attacked, but definitely one division should be attacking there. Okay, uh, you are going there. We need to do to, to make that crossing, and then we will actually swing back down. I think. Yeah, that's more or less what we want to do. And well, in the meantime, we can pretty much encircle. Uh, uh, hmm. Well, at least we could like, encircle Kiev now when I think about it. That's probably quite a lot there. Well, there are some uh, some armor divisions, so that's always worth it. <laughs> well, I think about it. Uh, this is getting uh, smaller and smaller, and our Polish friends are uh, even attacking in uh, another parts of the front. Uh, Definitely need to keep this front rolling. Uh, oh, this other on Vitex, uh, not the best use of our time, but uh, sure. Uh, here we will probably get a beachhead. Uh, this uh, here we are almost at Smolensk. Oh, I mean, uh, we are making a. You know, a breakthrough with a, a, an attempt to encircle using infantry, so 
is obviously not going to work perfectly, but well, that's what we have to work with. And yeah, this is going to be nasty. Mm. And probably no encirclements here, except maybe maybe this one. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll catch a few few divisions there. Uh, Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll wait here. It's, uh, no point in expanding our dwindling um, empire pool. Now, let's look at the butcher's bill. So, uh, yeah, we, we lost uh, shy of 60. They lost over 600. 10 to 1. Not bad at all, even where were we Soviet Union. And well, there is 40 divisions. To, to, to. On the other hand, we are uh, in a way uh, helping them by cutting down their divisions uh, because uh, a lot of them are, are under strength, and uh, this way they will be reinforcing a le less amount of it, so less, well, lower amount of them. Lower amount? Yeah, I think that's. Not less amount, yeah, lower amount of them, which means that overall strength of the uh, fighting divisions will be going down slower. Well, it's uh, of course going down slower now when we are on the offensive, since well, they are not taking that, that much damage. We are once again over time, though, so uh, hope you are enjoying this. Uh, I sure am, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Uh, have a nice day and see you around.